Estelini and Deserbi both got sent off on the weekend. It looked a really weird one because Deserbi was going mad. Stellini was just standing there with his arms folded, just watching the team play. And then the referee comes over and shows them both a red card. He was like, what the hell's going on? I've never seen someone get sent off for something that they didn't do or something. It was just a bizarre, bizarre uh, moment in a football game. Apparently, this has been... Uh, you know, spilled over from before the game in the first half as well. Something happened. Ali Gold has been trying to shed some light on it. And what, what are the quotes on what he said? So apparently De Zerbi took issue with um, some of Stellini's comments in his pre-match press conference. And it's more to do with a headline that was written in the Italian um, paper Gazzetta della Sport, um, which had the headline quoting De Stellini saying, De Zerbi is exploiting all of Graham Potter's good work um, from Brighton, which isn't exactly what Stellini said, but that was, exa that was what the Italian paper kind of um, took uh, the headline from as to what Stellini actually said. Which he actually, what he actually did say was they are well prepared when you start to press them. They find ways to overcome your pressure. They are well positioned and they plan a uh, match in the right way. They have many solutions and adapt themselves when you change something because they come from a good job that Potter did with them for a long time. So that is what um, uh, uh, Stellini said about De Zerbi. He also said, I think De Zerbi is not fluid, uh, as fluid tactically as Graham Potter is. De Zerbi is more a manager of consistency in the way he likes to hurt the opponent. opponent. He's more focused with the ball, what he can do with the ball and being aggressive when they lose it. Potter was more fluid in his systems, um, but the players are smart to do it and you have to create intelligent players to do it. But De Zerbi has improved them a lot. He has great personality um, and he's adapted to a country quickly and, and, and he's put his sign on his team. It's not easy as for everyone and Deserbi shows in England that he's a great manager. So apparently Deserbi took issue with these comments from Stellini saying that he disrespected him and um, that he's uh, giving too much credit to Potter um, for Brighton's good run and he's not giving Deserbi enough credit. And that's where the issues came pre-kickoff. As you saw before kickoff, Deserbi went up to Stellini and while was waggish finger in his face and giving him a real what for basically before kickoff and then obviously it balled over during the game yeah so this isn't the first time we've had uh, managers taking italian quotes from in the italian press the wrong way uh, as we saw earlier on the season with antonio conte so was was um deserve right to feel disrespected by christian stellini we'll start with you ash no, of course not. Like, obviously, he's taken that quote and he's kind of ran with it. And um, it was mad because I think it was a great advert for Stellini. I mean, for uh, De Zerbi. I think Stellini was bigging him up. It was like Tottenham board. I mean, if you want another Italian, um, this Italian is the one to go for. Like, he's got good attacking football. And uh, he, he's actually implemented it very quickly. And it's very, he's very surprised on how quickly the players have actually adopted his style because he hasn't, hasn't come in very long and already they're playing like the Zerbi ball already and he was giving, he was bigging them up if anything. So like, it should have been like the Zerbi coming over to Stellini and shaking his hand and saying, thanks man, I appreciate the, um, the little big up you did for me like the other day. I appreciate that. But obviously, I don't know who's brought it to him. Maybe one of his people would just say, look, are you going to have that? But like, look, he chatting shit up. He's chatting up about you. Blah, 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 don't have it, don't have it. And then he's gone on a mad one, like, what do you think of a dickhead, hey? <laughs> and then all of a sudden, all the man that were back in it is just kicking off and going mad, crazy. But um, for me, like, there's, um, Stellini's like, I don't know, it reminds me of one of those cartoon characters that I was used to watch, um, was it Asterix? He must be one of those cartoon characters. <laughs> <laughs> oh, great shout, by the way. Like, he got lost. He was like, what have I done? What? Hey, what's going on? And even Mason was like, Mason wasn't even, Mason was looking around as well. He went a part of it. And then all of a sudden it started kicking off. Them two were like, right, like, and then he got the red card and he's thinking, what, what? Like, I tried to stay out of it and you're still red carding me. But obviously I know it was because he's lost the, uh, he's, he's lost to control of the staff and he's meant to be the captain he's meant to be the head of the staff yeah but uh, just imagine imagine like on the pitch like the players surround the referee and the yeah. captain stays back and then he just sends the captain off because he didn't control his team it would just be it would just be very odd wouldn't it 
bro, it's wild. To me, it makes mm. no sense. I'm just trying to make sense of it all. But <laughs> there's no sense you can make of it, Ash. There's no sense. It's just complete oh, lunacy. No, the Come guy on. was literally just standing there with his arms folded when madness <laughs> was just breaking down all over the place around him. <laughs> Hey, it was too funny. I was watching it and I was dying. I was busting up. I was like, <laughs> Imagine trying to stay out of trouble and then you get sent off because you tried to stay out of trouble. <laughs> yes. Yeah, you no, know, like, <laughs> throw the tissue, like a tissue at the back of the teacher's head. Teacher comes around, <laughs> puts you the attention. But it wasn't even me. I wasn't even talking. <laughs> well, I'm you, man. It's just, life's unfair, isn't it? Sometimes you just got to take it. it? <laughs> That's the way I see it. <laughs> What do you think, Perchy? I think it's a lot of stuff about nothing. I mean, it was probably the most enjoyable part of the game. Let's be honest. <laughs> yeah. Let's be frank and honest. It was the most enjoyable part of it. Um, he's sitting there, standing there, like as if nothing. It, it, what What made me laugh is the way he was standing there. Made me. It, it came across like, you know, when you know a player's done something proper bad, like they put in a bad tackle, and you know best thing to do if i just stand away from all the melee i might just get away with it he's obviously said something and he got sent off for it but listen i'll be honest over it all like i said at least it means he ain't in charge on against bournemouth we might actually play i'll be honest like right amazing uh, actually made some that, progressive it could stuff. be an appeal purchase so i wouldn't i wouldn't oh, don't, be too comfortable oh, oh, I like it. you're looking forward to mason it's, ball then purchase not really but it, it's like <laughs> It's, it's like a race to the bottom, it feels like, for me at the moment. Like, I, d I don't even care anymore, like, where we finish at the end of the season, because it really doesn't matter. It's like, it's just something to change. I thought Ryan Mason actually made some all right substitutions when he... And it actually looked all, we actually looked all right when he was in charge for a period of it. We she looked like we actually gave a bit of a yeah, we bit found of something. Dan Juma. Well, we apparently, found apparently, Ali Gold is saying that he was still under instruction from Stellini, who was giving him, who he was communicating with him via amazing, someone amazing. upstairs. So this, it wasn't all just football, Mason, apparently. This football club's a circus. Let's be honest, isn't it? Let's be honest. It is big top Tottenham. But well, we but, are... but per Perchy, what do you think? Does Erby really got? annoyed about in terms of the comments made by Stellini um he obviously got rattled I didn't even I'll be honest I didn't even watch the press conference and all that laugh and what where it's all come from but I tell you what though it rattled him didn't it though it worked it worked it's deserving it rattled him and stuff and ever it was just all kind of got into got into it but as I said it was probably the most exciting part of it this whole battle between them. I'd have happy of it. Just let's get the boxing set up in the uh, stadium. We'll have them to have a scrap and we'd have had more enjoyment because the football is terrible. But um, yeah, no, listen, I think uh, for me, I'm, I'm more in the sense of it, it's it's a lot of nothing that's sort of blown into it. Listen, is are they going to be friends probably by the end? Probably not. Is 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 Zerbi really going to care? Still, he's not going to be here next year, is he? So, you know what I mean? It's... I think it's a lot of talk about a lot of nothing, really. Yeah, I mean, I feel like the whole thing was just so stupid because Deserby's taking a fake quote that didn't even happen, just a, a sensationalist headline that didn't even come from anywhere. He's, like, guilty of just not reading the whole article. He's, Basically, like, guilty of being, like, one of these Twitter guys who just reads an article, much, reads the headline and doesn't much, actually read the article. Pretty much. He's, like, one of these Spurs fans that, that go on about one of these fake Levy... At Deserby's season. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? He's, like, one of these guys. So, and... You don't re listen to what he's actually saying. So how can you actually go get mad over some bullshit headline? It's it's absolutely mental. Yeah. He's like, gone. He's like, you're saying it's all Potter. He's like, what you're saying? He's like, I didn't say that. He's like, he didn't read the article. He said, like, nah, I read the headline. You said it was all Potter. <laughs> you bastard. <laughs> <laughs> so that's basically what's happening. So it's, it's, it's madness. <laughs> but I guess the, the real the real question is when it comes to this whole Deserby thing is, if he was a candidate for the Tottenham job before this game, well, what has happened hurt his chances? I don't think so. I don't think so. I mean, we did hear that, you know, there were reservations about his temperament and stuff before that. Maybe uh, that will hurt his chances in a way. But I don't think we could have got him out of Brighton anyway, to be honest. I think that it's not, uh, we're not the shining lights here. Deserby is the shining light here. We need to pander for him. <laughs> There's no uh, yeah. point of him trying to pander to us. You know what I mean? He's the one that holds the cards at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. True. I agree. So you don't you don't think that what uh, how he reacted would have checked, like put anything in Tottenham the hierarchy's mind as to whether they'll really go for well, him or not? 
they had it in Conte, didn't they? So mm-hmm. I don't really think I don't know. It's controversial, isn't it? But I got a feeling where they didn't really want to get rid of Conte. I felt like Conte wanted to walk in it. I felt like Conte wanted to kind of keep it moving, and that's the reason why we bought Stellini in. And so they knew what they were getting with Conte. And so I think if that was really a big issue, you know, like, uh, we don't like this um, temperament thing, then like the derby would have been ruled out a long time. So I just think they need to go back to attacking football. Obviously, Levy said, you know, attacking football is in our DNA. Uh, obviously, he kept lying to us by bringing in defence managers. But now is this his chance to bring in um, an attacking manager again. So. Um, I, I still think it's an option, despite his uh, temperament. You know, that's what you're going to get with these type of fiery kind of managers and candidates. Do you know what I mean? In my opinion. Do you like Do you like Deserby Perch, or or did the weekend do anything to change your mind? Um, I don't. I didn't. I don't think I didn't like him, and I don't think I don't like him before or after that game. If he's the manager, I'd be happy because I think he. I tell you, he's shown he's shown what he can do at Brighton. And he can, he'll be able to get something out of the players we've got. Um, but as I said, for me, I've always said to you about the new manager. The new manager is relevant, is is second to the plan. What's the plan at Tottenham? I've, I stand by that in the sense of I want us to see, we want to go in this direction and we're going to stick to it. Not chopping and changing. If we get a new manager, if a manager comes and goes, we stick to the same philosophy. And unfortunately, that's our problem we've had at, at the moment, and we've had that for a while. We don't have a structure and a, a plan of action on how we're going to operate. But would I want Deserby in? Yeah, I don't see why not. Do I think it will be him? No, I don't. honestly don't think it will be him. So, yeah, 